Okay, we're loaded up. We're off on our trips back to Air Peninsula. To have another look around. So let's get this show on the road. First stop, Jo having to return the key to work that she uh, took home with her last night. So she thought she'd better not keep that for a week and a half. Haven't got very far. We'll get there eventually. Well, here we are. Just, uh, we've made it just south of Port Pirie, just stopping for some lunch. Bill's having a bit of a, an explore. Um, hasn't been a bad trip so far. Car and van are going along beautifully. Uh, I think we've got a bit of a tailwind that's helping. Uh, we just had a wrap for lunch. And now we're going to continue on. Well, first night, we've made it to Iron Knob and we're going to stay tonight at the Iron Knob Community Park and Campground. So uh, this is, I uh, found this on Wiki Camps. And in fact, this shed here, there's Joe. Great little, great little shed here. In fact, it's... Uh, the sign on the wall here actually says it's uh, Aunt Lil's Bush Kitchen. So you get the the barbecue, the sink, plenty of table space. We'll have a bit of a toilet facilities down through there, rainwater tank. And we'll have a bit more of a look uh, later. Yeah, sun's still out, so this is a, quite a nice little, that's like 4.30 something in the afternoon. Um, so it's nice sort of sitting in here, out of the sun. And a breeze. And a bit of a breeze. So. so um, Nobby's little campground area, we've got uh, Two other campers with us. Here's our little setup. We've sort of seconded the uh, table and chairs. Uh, we are pointing downhill, which means we'll probably have to sleep with our heads at the other end of the bed. But just to give you a bit of a, a look of the other facilities here, camp kitchen, you've seen in there, and then we've got some toilets through here, and uh, in case you're waiting for some mail, you know that's the post office through there. sun has just gone down we've been here a while oh, I've got in about 4 30 I guess mine seems to be sort of just up the back there sun's just gone down behind the hills but uh, yeah I reckon this is a some great facilities here so we'll uh, Getting a bit cooler now that the sun's gone down, but and the wind's still going. But anyway, we'll see how we go tonight. So this is the back of Aunt Lil's camp kitchen, the shed that we were had the beer beer in last night. A bit of uh, art on the on the shed so 
So that's us for tonight at the Iron Knob Campground. Very happy with the uh, facilities here. Uh, and look, got up early this morning, thought I might see a little bit of wildlife, sort of out and about, up the hill there, but no, I didn't. But what you didn't know that they have in Iron Knob is drop dogs. Not drop bears, drop dogs up the tree so there you go something unique for iron knob you can see the the hill the mine out there on the hill some uh, colors there in the, whatever they've dug out of the mine so heading to walker's rock this morning Walker's Rock Campground, so we're on our way. Well, apologies uh, if the wind is playing havoc here, but yes, it is windy. We've uh, come to Walker's Rock Campground, which is about 10 k's north of Elliston. Uh, we sort of earmarked this spot in July when we came over, we wanted to come and spend a couple of days here just uh, you know bozzicking around investigating uh, we think we're only going to stay one night now because the winds causing havoc we'll move on but uh, not sure whether that's Walker's Rock out there where it gets its name from but there is four-wheel drive access to the beach as well Go and have a look at where we are. The campground, we're in the sort of main campground. There's a quite a few campers here. So this is us here, obviously. A few campers up behind us. We've sort of positioned the van so it's sort of out of the wind, or this side of the van's out of the wind, but there's a few other little posies around which are all being taken. Uh, nice sort of clean toilet facilities are there. Uh, tonight is pizza on the menu. So let's have a quick look, see how it's going. Pizza in the Weber Q. Oh yeah. A few more minutes yet. Well, look what I can see. I don't normally take pictures of food, but this is our first pizza in the Weber Baby Q. Joe, what do you think? Well, it looks like pizza, but does it taste like pizza? Well, go on, pick a piece, give it a try. It passes, she says. Well, cool. We've got another one in the oven. This one's a salami, pineapple, cheese, and spinach leaves. So we'll give this one a go and then we'll try the next one, which is a chicken one. Okay. Ding, ding, ding. Round two. Pizza number two. Now, Joe, I just want to clarify something. I can't remember what you said in the first video, but it was a little subtle because when I stopped videoing, you said the first pizza was what? <laughs> I can't say on the grounds that it may incriminate me. <laughs> you <laughs> substantially <laughs> pumped it up. I did not. You did. And in fact, it had a cauliflower base, that one, and it, she, it was nice. Very, very nice. This one is chicken with pineapple 
cheese, barbecue sauce, uh, different sauce. different sort of base. So let's give this one a go. Joe, go for it. <laughs> no, why do I have to be the guinea pig again? <laughs> That's the pleasure of riding with Tony. <laughs> oh. Oh, okay, now before I hang up the video, <laughs> do you want to just sort of reconsider your good? <laughs> no, I'm all good. <laughs> just good. All right, I'm going to try it now. <laughs> right, well, I'm going to take it a step up from what Joe said. Joe thinks it's good. I'm going to say it's bloody magnificent. It was, it's fantastic. All we did was grab the barbecue chicken, some che grated cheese, can of pineapple, a base from, this was all from Woolies, a base already made up from Woolies. We just added some barbecue sauce to it. So simple. 10, 15 minutes, 15 minutes in fact it was in the, in the Weber queue, thanks to Weber. And uh, you know, we, we have beer, pizza uh all we just need is the footy but hey it's, we got um, a view instead what is it january so it's a bit early for for the afl to be on yet but man this is this is good this is good yeah well the night is upon us uh, we're just gonna go for a little bit of a walk up this path here Bell's taking us that way. Come on, Bell, let's see where this goes. Keep going, Bell. Tides in. Fortunately, we've missed the sunset. Nice looking beach, this one. I don't know that it's a swimming beach. Pretty steep sort of decline into the water there, which suggests it probably gets deep very quickly. Love to have a fish off of there, but conditions aren't real uh, inviting at the moment. The wind is still howling through, so hopefully it's not impacting on the audio. Well, we've come down to Sharinga Beach this morning, left the um, Walker's Rock Campground. The van and the truck parked up there. And uh, we think we found tonight's camp spot. Let me just show you. There you go. <laughs> we think we're gonna camp right here. So let's go and get organised. 